to dance and stump our, our feet. feet. It's a musical city fantasy. In this place, imagination run free. Find your dreams if you take a chance. Problem solve with music and dance. You can be anything you want to be here in the streets of a beat city. Beat city, place to be. Come on down to beat city. The rest on the beat count in the kitten with the grin. The rest of the kids just call a kin. Baby Bernie's my name, cause I am a dog. And the team is mine, cause I am a frog. Fat cat's my name, it rhymes me game. I rhyme so much, they go insane. Come on down to Beat City. Come on down to Beat City. Beat City, to Come on down to Beat City. kids are at it again. They're putting on one of them wild talent shows again. Girl, you giant. No, girl. Just look at all them folks down there all lined up. Ooh, mm. woo. Mm. Ain't it something? Mm. Super sensational. What do you think? We were supreme, superb, stupendous. <laughs> uh, thank you, Soul Patrol. Next act, please. Let's cram. Silly, sick, diggy, stupid. <laughs> Morning at quarter to eight. Went back to sleep and I woke up late. Waiting this long line must be nuts. Maybe this cat here give me cuts. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Excuse me, buddy. Won't you be a friend? Take one step back. Let me cut in. Cut in? No way. I've been waiting all day. Pay attention what I'm trying Say to what? say. Say what? Gotta stop thinking about just yourself. Go back to the end of the line, home. Like everyone else. No cuts, no cuts, no cuts, no cuts, no cuts. Besides that cat, you just too fat. Fat cat, too fat, you're crazy, chump. This cat ain't fat. I'm pleasingly plump. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at all these bad acts. Let's call it a day. I wish we could, Kim, but we need five good acts for our talent show. Yeah, well, how many do we have now? None. Oh. But cool out, guys. We still have a lot of good acts to see. There's bound to be five good ones. Well, I guess you're right, but let's try to get this thing over with quickly before I puke. Okay, Kim. What's the next act? Mean Mo Green and the Fabulous Weeds. What the heck do they do? Are you ready for this? Yeah. They're singing plants. Singing mm -hmm. plants? Look out, look out, step aside. Coming through, coming through. Hey, what's happening, baby? Did anybody call for me, Mo Green? We sure did. You can set up over there. You're the next one on our audition list. I know you shame, baby. Me and Mo is beyond the audition stage. You're dealing with a real professional. Well, how do you expect us to see your act if you don't want to audition? I brought a tape, baby. All of us professionals show their work on videotape. 
By the way, do y'all have a VCR? Sure. Hey, Barney, bring in the VCR. Digital, audio, stereo, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody got a tape for me to eat. This tape is playable, not edible, so you better play it right or I will eat you. No problem, sir. VCR, play, not eat. All right, Mean Mo. Let's see what you got. I hope it's good. I'm not just good, little lady. Mean Mo is great. Hey, guys, be quiet. It's starting to play. It's Fatima Frog. Is Fatima Frog out here anywhere? Yeah, yeah that's me. I'm here. Well, follow me, ma'am. You're on next. Please. I'll see you later, fat cat. Uh, uh, cat. Good luck, it's Fatima. Uh, break a leg or uh, break a fin. Uh, I mean, break a web foot. <laughs> okay, Kim. What's the next act? Up next, Fatima Frog. Fatima? Where in the world did she get a name like Fatima? I got it from my great great grandmammy Frog. She was a singer too. Introducing the greatest producer in the world, Cleo the Clown. Oh no, who invited him? Don't look at me. Oops. All right, all right. What you got? What you got? I'm looking for five. Count them five. Well-educated, sophisticated, high-class acts to perform in my big top circus extravaganza. Now check this out, Cleo. We have four out of five acts already booked for our talent show, not your show. And before you so rudely interrupted, we were about to audition our next act for Team of Frog. 
Fatima, huh? Sounds like cat food. Fatima, cat chow, get it? <laughs> that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Look here, Frog Legs. If you have any talent, come over to my show, Cleo's Big Top Circus Extravaganza, because this talent show is like the Titanic. It's sinking fast. Hey, boss, it's time to go. Okay, okay, I gotta go, but remember, don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> Fatima Kid <Ketchow>. Show. <laughs> Who was that crazy character? And what did he mean about the show sinking? Oh, that was Cleo the Clown. He's been trying to steal our acts for years. But now that he's gone, we can take a look at your act, Fatima. You can set up over there, Fatima. I want to sing a very special song my mammy used to sing to me when I was a little old tadpole. <coughs> I had a human in my throat. <laughs> Music, please. but effective. I mean, homegirl is bad. I, I like, like her. her. She's clearly the best act we've had all day. Why, thank you. Thank you. My name is Kimberly Kitten, and I am the assistant producer on the show. My name is Gobbles Lagoon, and I'm the producer of the show. And my name is Barney. I'm the executive <clears throat> gopher and errand boy. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you all. Oh, uh, excuse me, everybody. Fat cat's my name and rhymes my game. In this line, I'm last in position. Now, if I may, I'd like to audition. Yo, word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, fat cat, huh? I can't seem to find your name on the list here. We can't let him in the show. Why not? He's too fat. He doesn't even fit the concept. He takes up too much space. You know, Kim, you're absolutely right. Talent and obesity don't mix. We can't use them. Well, he is a plump dude, but uh, peep this. Who's going to tell him? Uh, excuse me, folks. I've waited in line for a very long time, and baby, that's a fact. So if you may, sometime today, I'd like to do my act. Word. Uh, Mr. Fat Cat, uh, we appreciate you coming out, but we have just found our fifth and final act. The auditions are officially over. Allow me to repeat myself. I 
I've waited in line for a very long time, and baby, that's a fact. Take a minute to glance, give me a chance, I like to do my act. Mr. Gobbles, Mr. Gobbles, he's such a gentleman, he let me cut in front of him. So if it wasn't for me, you would have seen his act anyway. Won't you give him a chance, please? Well, I guess it would. We can't use him. He's just too fat for our show. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, but Bernie, what Bernie means is that... I know exactly what you mean, and I wouldn't be seen in such a silly show. Fat is fat, and I'm a fat cat, so it's time for me to go. Uh. Fat cat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, fat cat. Now look what you've done. Fat cat, come back. Wait a minute. You know, Barney, you got a big mouth. You can say that again. Well, you guys said you didn't want him in the show. How can you be so stupid? It ain't easy. Damn, do I have a truckload of dirt to tell you? If you know what I think you know, I know what you're about to tell me, honey. Well, who am I about to talk about? I don't know. Girl, I'll slap you. Anyway, I hate the gossip. No, 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 no. You love the gossip. Will you shut up so I can tell you? This kid that lives down the street, his name is Fat Cat. I, I know him. He's a nice kid, but a little chubby. All yeah, right, that's him. Well, he tried to audition for the Beat City Kids talent show, but they didn't want him. Why not, girl? Because he's too fat. No. That's right, girl. This boy's too fat. No, that ain't right. No, I know it ain't, but the boy could stand to lose a pound or two. Well, that goes for us, too. Girl, you better speak for yourself. <laughs> Boy, am I depressed. Everybody keeps telling me I'm too fat. They don't care about my personality or my talent. All they see is a big, fat cat. Excuse me, my man. Could you tell me where I can find the Beat City Kids talent show auditions? You're too late, buddy. The auditions are over. They have all the acts they need. Believe me, I know. Hey, my man, you sound a little negative about the auditions. What's wrong? Your act didn't get picked for the show? Get picked? Huh. They didn't even let me audition. They said I was too fat. <laughs> too fat, huh? Well, we're going to have to do something about that. Believe me, I tried. But no offense, homeboy. Who do you think you are to think you can change their minds? Well, I'm Big Fred. <laughs> Give me a break. If you're Big Fred, then I must be... <gasps> hey, it's really you. Big Fred, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, the producers of the show invited me down to perform a song, you know, and uh, to be a celebrity judge. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> but uh, what's your name, little buddy? <laughs> Yo, word up. That cat's my name and rhyme is my game. I rhyme so much, folks go insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, lay some skin on me, baby. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about what I said earlier, Fred. Didn't know it was you. I was down and out, depressed, mopped. Didn't know what to do. <laughs> that's okay, fat cat. But that's the problem many people have. They judge others before they get a chance to know them. Now, take that talent show, for example. The producers may have liked your act if only they had taken the time to see it. But they did not overlook my big fat body. So I guess I'll remain a fat nobody. Now don't be too hasty, fat cat. It may not be too late to change things. And teach those producers a lesson. I like you, Fred, cause you're right on time. There's truth in what you said, so what you got in mind? I can relate to your problem, fat cat, because it happened to me. But this is how I handle it, so listen up to Freddy B. <laughs> now, now, we're going to uh -huh. get on down there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow, that's a great idea, Fred. We have five minutes before showtime. Get the first egg ready. But gobble. We have one small problem. Our special guest has not arrived yet, and he's our first act. 
Well, we just have to reschedule his part to the end of the show. Barney, do you have the schedule sheet? Uh-oh, I think I forgot it. Forgot it? Gee, Barney, how can you be so stupid? Well, it runs in a family. Fatima, can you be ready to go on in about five minutes? I guess so, but you want to know something, Gobbles? I think things are going bad because you didn't let Fat Cat audition. Listen, Fatima, there's one thing you have to understand about show business. And what is that? It's not always fair. Now that's something I'll never understand. Hey, the special guest is here. Hey, Gobbles, the special guest is here. It's Big Fred. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Big Fred. My name is Cleo the Clown. I represent the National Firm of Clowns Incorporated, and I'm prepared to offer you an exclusive contract to represent our new line of clown underwear. So if you'll sign on the dotted line... I'm sorry, Cleo, but I do not work with clowns. Oh. You know, Gobbles, I'm confused. Fred's a fat person, and you allow him to be in the show, but you tell Fat Cat he doesn't fit the show's concept. Why is that? Uh, well, it's different with Fred. He's a celebrity. Hey, what's happening, Fred? <laughs> Excuse the pun. I'm glad you can make it down. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here, Gobbles. It's always a pleasure to work with the Beat City Kids. <laughs> Gee, thanks, yeah, thanks Fred. Fred. <laughs> you know, Fred, we're running behind schedule a little. Would you mind going on first? Hey, no problem, Gobbles. But I want you to know I changed my act. Uh, what do you mean, Big Fred? I have a new addition to my act. Ladies and gentlemen, meet my new big buddy. Fat Cat! That's right. Since me and Fat Cat had so much in common, we decided to form a new act called the Big Beat Buddies. That's right, the side of side. <laughs> but, 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 Big Fred, uh, uh, you don't want him in your act. Uh, he's not a celebrity. He's low class, non talented, and, and. And he's fat. What's wrong with being fat? I'm fat. Well, that's true, Fred, but it's different in your case. There's no difference. Then how do you know he's not talented? You didn't even let him audition. Hey, Amen. I tried to tell him, but they wouldn't listen to me. And furthermore, if you don't let Fat Cat perform with me, I refuse to go on, so that. Okay, okay. You win, Fred. I get the point. I see now that we were unfair and we were wrong. And Fat Cat, we owe you an apology. I'm sorry, Fat Cat. Yeah, I'm sorry, too, even if it was Kim's idea. <laughs> what you guys were doing is practicing a form of discrimination. Everyone should have the same chance to audition, no matter how it looks. Fat, skinny, blue, green, orange, everyone should have the same chance. That's right. Beauty comes in all different forms. As a matter of fact, this should be the theme of today's show. Everybody deserves a fair chance. Yeah, well, you're Thanks, Fat Cat. I appreciate 
Some popcorn before the late show comes on. Come on, girl. I will see y'all. 